before I went, like, like, you know, you go get on the bus, you go to the yeah. airport. Like, I was, I still had cards, still had weed on me and everything. My brother would tell me, like, man, you tripping? Don't go to that. You lit right here. But I just knew, like I said, I I wanted to build something for my family. Like, we, I really come from shit. I don't come from, I don't come from like. I don't come from where, where niggas come from. Like, I nah, I, I'm with you. Like, I ain't even about <laughs> and to I heard to New be. Orleans is crazy. And I'm from the middle of that shit. Like, that's crazy. every nigga you hear about New Orleans that's really getting down, nigga, than been in my house. Like, yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones, the big ones. So shout out to my guy Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy, Mr. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. We in the building. Oh, man, this next guest uh, on the come up, going crazy. Straight out of New Orleans. Straight out, what is it? The fourth ward, the ninth ward? Both of them? Both of them, yeah. That's what the. Let's just get into it. Rob 4 9 is in the building. That's what the. Oh, man. That's what the 4 9 is for, right? Yeah, that's what the 4 9 is for. Okay, so that's kind of different. Yeah. People, usually people stick to one. Hood and they wrote the one hood. Yeah. You don't get a lot of shit for that? No, nah, not at all. Cause you no, know, I'm really I'm really from the like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I I don't know two I don't know who really was from two hoods before. Like No, a lot of people don't say it. Yeah, probably. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people would never say that. Because I'm the, I'm one of them I'm the only um person on my family from that hood. Which my one? Whole the family knife? from my whole family from for the knife. knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only one really from the four. Yeah. Okay. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I hate the sound. This is gonna sound cheesy as hell. Mm. You like one of the only people I've ever and, and my engineer could probably could contest to this. I ain't even tell him this. You don't one of the only people I ever looked at him like, damn, he remind me remind me of me. Man, it's not cat. Swear man. to God in my life. Why I don't, you say that? I don't have a cap. Why you say that? I ain't scared of you. Why you say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I was like, cause like just all right, so your whole upbringing, right? Yeah. You were somebody that was like, you know, you lived in the hood, but you never was like a hood. Yeah. Right? Am I am I what? like like nah, you, you wrong. I I'm care. wrong. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I go ahead, go ahead. Hood, I ain't gonna care. What, all right, so what does that mean? I to just, you then? I, I just, I just wasn't no dumb nigga. So what is a hood nigga to you then? A hood is a nigga who outside in the hood really doing what he, what he, what, what hood do. All right, well maybe that's a bad. You wasn't that like I feel like just going, just looking at your interviews. Yeah. And listen, like, to like I said, I wasn't a dumb nigga. It's a difference. Mm. You so you think a lot of people crash yourself. out? You nigga want something for yourself. You know what's funny though? Like a lot of my that I grew up with, like, we used to always have them conversation, like, I don't want to be no, no dumb nigga, I don't want to crash out, like, a lot of them did that in jail right now, like, so I'm probably the only one stuck to the script, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, for real. But that's why I say, I feel like, because I grew up in, I grew up in the projects, like, yeah. McCullough was project, Boston will know, yeah. you feel me? And I feel like, I was just one of the guys that got it, like, I wasn't trying to get into, like, like, because it's on the block, I listen to niggas, my old head was like, bro, stay play ball and everything, and I s stick to the script. You get what I'm saying? I try, though. I ain't gonna lie. I try to stick to the script as long as I can. I ain't gonna lie, but it's like... Where it go wrong? Like, when you gotta provide, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad was in jail, and so my mom ain't really had no help. So then you get into that type shit. Mm -hmm. You the man of the house. You only got sisters in here. But you still was hustling. That wasn't like you... You wasn't just on no anything. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Right. As a hood nigga, you gotta be outside hustling. You know what kind of hustling? I'm, I'm yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, like, you can't be no green nigga gonna try to rob you all day and shit. Nah, man. facts. You feel like you got uh, what's the word? You ever feel like you um, fucking damn? You know you see something happen, and we supposed to be sad. Y'all can help me in yeah. the back. You supposed to be sad, but you don't be sad about it. What is it called? That's called numbing. Yeah, like you ever feel like you numb to the pain? Nah, for sure I'm numb. Mm. Like, I don't even be tripping about nothing no more. Like, that's funny though, cause I just heard like one of my cousins just died. I was just like, like next, like, like it's just I'm over the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, 
for sure, for sure. Damn, man. All right, let's get into this podcast. I got uh, <laughs> I got a couple questions. It's Icebreaker, right? I asked you a couple questions to see how you feel about it, all right? All right, so um, I seen in one of your interviews you were saying, like, you uh, people who look like they have it but don't don't really have it, right? You want to really have it in real life. Yeah. When you hear that, having it in real life, what does that mean? Like, what, what, what does that mean to you? It's just like, motherfuckers uh, uh, use all their money to look like they got money mm. instead of not spending their money and really having the money, like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers use all their money on clothes and shit, like, I don't know, I, I'd rather just really have that shit. I ain't even tripping on no clothes and shit. Because mm. I'm really one of them, like, you know what I'm saying? You say you ain't tripping on clothes, but then you show something different, though. Cause you really be because, having that on, but the amount of money I make ain't got nothing to do with what I spend. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm. if I make ten k, I might spend a thousand or two thousand on on some drip, but that ain't nothing. Cause I just made ten k. Like, I'm gonna put eight up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Eighty percent of my money go up. Okay. And I might start selling all that old. Shit. Like, I ain't about to be doing that. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, when it comes to entrepreneurship, I feel like you've been in. Like we might be just getting to know your name and the music and things like that, but you, I feel like you've been hustling for a long time. So yeah. when we think about hustling, it's kind of one of the same of entrepreneurship. Yeah. What do you? How do you think about entrepreneurship? Um, What's the first thing that come to mind? Just generational wealth, like mm. for real. And plus, when folks don't understand, like if you give a a black this this why the black man is so like. Like, I don't, I don't know how to how to put it. Like, like, like so above everybody in the society. Like, like when they selling dope. Like, at the end of the day, that's their business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas making millions of dollars off a business they can't promote. Mm. Imagine if you if they got a business they could promote. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never hear nobody say that. Nah, real talk. That's some real. <laughs> that's crazy. He's gonna make a million dollars off a business he can't promote. Yo, he put some things in perspective. <laughs> Dang, that's crazy. I ain't never hear that. Nah, that's a fact though. Most definitely. So you think generational wealth? What does that mean though? Generational wealth. It's just like, like your grandchildren and your children don't gotta go through the things you went through. That's <sighs> what I mean by generational wealth. All right, so I'm gonna play devil's advocate. All right, come on. I talked to somebody, right? And I was talking about generational wealth. Like, that's what I want. I want. It's so important. And he was like, man, not really. Because, like, a part of why you go so hard nah, nah, is because of... It. You know funny? You know funny? Yeah, you're right, though. I knew you were about to say that. Shit. But at the end of the day, I'd rather you hit your head, you know what I'm saying, and then know you got a cushion, mm. then hit your head, and you just going to keep hitting your head for the rest of your life. Isn't that, can't that be kind of a crutch though? Because if you know you got a cushion, you could do something to mess everything up. Now nobody got generated. You messed the whole family business up. I understand that. But I already, I already take that chance because Facts. where we come from, you you wouldn't even get the, you wouldn't even get a chance to do what you, you wouldn't even get a chance to fuck up because you've been a die young. Facts. Where we come from, I already you not even go through that. At least mm-hmm. get older and, and fuck up. Facts. Man, Eric, like, nah, 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 nigga, nah. Bro. It's not, I'm sorry, nah, I got Man, you, you crazy? You heard what I said? Yeah, you get old and f up. Nah, I would rather you get old and f up because you're gonna be, where we come from, nigga, just learn quick. Yeah. Like, 13, 14 outside already. Facts. You're getting killed at 13, 14. You're right, absolutely right. Generational wealth, you still inside. You still getting that cushion until you like 7, 18, 19. At I, least you've been lived them years, like, so I get what you're saying. You're talking about as far as life. I'm talking about, I feel like. Life is everything, though. That's, that's all I'm talking about. I feel about. like if you mess up at 13, and it's still like some leniency, right? Even if you don't get killed. Yeah. If you messing up at 13, 14, there's some leniency in there because those are your adolescent years. That Those are like, you, you're not even an adult. You really don't know no better. As an adult, the mistakes you make as an adult is 10 times worse than making it as a kid. So yeah. I'd rather my kids mess up young than older. Cause older, you're but I'm, done. I'm about to say we we on two perspectives though. But nah, we probably is because you from Baltimore. Like, I'm on the same type. T- I know, yeah, like I'm about to say you from Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. So you, yeah, yeah, I get it too. But I don't know. It's probably just the shit I didn't see and what I didn't been through. I'm just I'm just stuck in the ways like that. So you would rather see that as a as older than younger? I just want you. I just want you to be able to to live. That's mm, it. That's facts. I get it. 
because that's it. Like my nah, whole family right. did. Like I get it, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like that's crazy because putting it in perspective, it's so many people I've seen pass at a at a young age. I'm pretty sure you can relate, and just to be able to live to see twenty three, even if you mess up at twenty three, you know what I'm saying? Like go ahead and mess up at twenty three. All right, now listen to this. As much as you trying to be a good kid, I ain't had no real f- ups. Mm. I've been selling weed since I was since I turned sixteen. Like that's fifteen, sixteen. So once you jump in that life, you in that life. Like I could have made one f- up and just been gone. Mm. Like could have tried to rob me. I ain't going. Like and just you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. like that. Like I don't even want them to have to go through that. Facts. You now you want your kids to. to have a have a childhood? No, yeah, I get it. I, I'm, I'm with you. No, I'm with <laughs> you. I'm with you. I'm with you. We can agree on that. We can agree on that. So um, I was curious, right? How much money is a lot of money to you? I don't know. I don't think you're never gonna be satisfied. Now I'm thinking 100 m's, like that's a lot of money. 50 m's, a lot of money, like. Facts. That's true. Just because I hear motherfuckers, I, I hear motherfuckers making that. Nah, facts. So I'm. I always been one of them niggas. Like, boy, you could do it. I could do it. Like, I know I could do it. Mm. So now I'm feeling like I could do it. Facts. 100 m's, a lot of money. 50 m's and shit. That's a lot. It's crazy how like came from the slums, right? And back in the day, niggas thought a million was a lot. Man, niggas thought a million was a lot. Thought she was rich at a million. I ain't even see a million yet, but now I'm just like, I know it ain't a lot, and I ain't even see it. I mean, it's still a lot for me. I don't care if y'all niggas. It's still a lot. It's not a lot, bro, because <laughs> you're going to have so much. When you make a million, you're going to know you got a million. Mm. Then that's when they come. Let me hold it. Let me get it. Did you, you learn how to say no yet? I don't know how to say no, bro. How do tried. you like 24, 25? My, listen, I'm 24. You just turned 24 March. March Happy 6th. belated birthday, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I already keep my distance though. Nah, you gonna learn. How, you gonna learn and say no soon. Man, I be trying, bro. It's hard. I mean, you young. I already not answer the phone for you. Nah, I feel you. It, you you young though, so I get it. Like you you super young, but by the time you turn 30, oh, you gonna embrace that? No, no is powerful. No is powerful, bro. Do you know how how powerful no is? Tell me. The power of no, it really can like, it can create or break your lifestyle. Think about it like I think y'all was just talking about it on Million Dollars for Game. Think about it like this: for somebody who has a big heart, right? Mm-hmm. You get signed, you get your money. Everybody asking you for something, right? You give out. You can run yourself in a hole, right? Think about not even that. Let's say that, let's think about love, right? You in a relationship. It's like somebody going to take just t- keep taking, t- keep taking, t- keep taking until t- you have nothing to give yourself. Mm-hmm. You saying no creates your boundaries. You saying no, it really can, it can be the design effect of you being successful in anything, not even just your career, but just in anything, anything in life. Yeah, am I? Am I? Am I? Nah, you damn right now. I'm thinking about it. I'm just. I mean, y'all could correct me if I'm wrong though. Nah. Like no is right. so important. Like, and I, I'm 31, bro, and I just learned the importance of no. Like, your no is your superpower. Mm-hmm. Outside of everything else, like forget all of that stuff, and like being like, able. This is my space. No. Man. Exactly. Exactly. Now you damn right. I need to. And even. You know boundaries. what's funny? Over these past couple of weeks, I have been learning. Mm. But before that, nah, not at all. You know how, you really gain your superpowers. This might hurt for you for sure, cause your mm. parents is there. Saying no, to your parents. You know what's funny? That's, That's exactly true. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Like, <laughs> tell my yeah. mama, like, Ma, I'm going to drive, like, That's get in the so passenger seat. Great. Like, my mama said, let me drive. No, get in the passenger seat. Like, I just started doing that for real. Like, no, I ain't, no. That's when you really gain your power because, like, it's if like. You if if you're going to tell your mama, no, boy, I'll give a f- about two, boy. What? Like, f- you but I tell my mama no. Especially coming from where we come from, like you feel like we're so it's like we're indebted to our family because like they they did so much, they sacrificed so much, no, and it feel like we owe them. Uh huh. But when you could tell your parents no, oh, you made it. it's lit. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. All right, hold on. Let me um, I got a couple more icebreaker. Um, I did have a when you, what's the first thing that come to mind when you hear swiping? Go ahead, bro. Just go ahead. Swiping. Yeah, yeah. Probably um. Probably scamming. Hmm. How did you first get into that? Cause you was, you been in New Orleans. I don't you know what I was talking about? You on your ass. Come on. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do my I work. Go ahead, go ahead. So, you been in New Orleans, right? Yeah. I feel like when I hear that, that's an up north thing. Yeah. How the hell you get nah, into that? My little nigga. My little nigga. Uh, well, it was my little nigga, but 
He um I don't know how he got into it, but man, him was selling weed together. And then he was like, man, I be playing with the cards. We was getting cards and shit like that. But he was in like this group chat. We was in high school. You know, if it, you know niggas group chat. Like, yeah. Like the, he was in a group chat and niggas just was dropping that sauce in there. That's it. That's crazy going all the way to New Orleans. Like, I, but you was way, you, you way younger than me. Like, we ain't had, that shit around when I was in high yeah, school. Yeah, I was like, I was like 17. That's so. When like, I was in seven, when I was 17, with the phones. What phone like the um the, uh, like iPhones at the time I think like oh yeah yeah we, we yeah. I was fu- I was around when they were f- phones stealing the phones selling them to the Arabs and shit no nah, like. not even yeah like but buying them from the store and then yeah. selling them oh yeah 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 like I, I was I was probably like 13, 14 around that time yeah that sounds about right yeah, yeah that that was the that was the flip then now I, I I like I said like I was outside so you was on everything I was on everything like yo did you um I remember at one point in time you said um. You was you was in the military at the time, the National yeah. Guard. Yeah. And you was popular. Like niggas was singing your song, but he was like, yo, if I get a big song, you gonna get put out. Yeah, I'm gonna get out this shit. I'm so you still in? No, I'm out that shit. Did yeah. it come from the did it yeah, come from the song? It, it came from, you just lit you did one of them. They let me out that bitch. Honorable? Yeah, honorable. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, they me so right. you still get the benefits? Ain't really no benefits in, in the National Guard. They pay you like a hundred dollars. Like that's why I be trying to tell people like, man, that shit ain't what you think it is. Damn. Like it's just not like. I wish I had somebody to tell me that. I really went for just college, cause I know I, I wanted to go to college. But I know I seen my mama struggling with my sister, like, and we was just up behind that. So I'm like, man, if if I don't get no scholarship, I ain't going to college. That's really what it was. Mm. Plain and simple. I remember when I was I was still swiping around that time. Mm. I told my my I was telling my and, mom in the military. Nah, this before I joined. This oh, was like, it was like right before I went. Like like, you know, you go get on the bus, you go to the yeah. airport. Like I was, I still had cards, still had weed on me and everything. My brother would tell me like, man, you tripping? Don't go to that. You lit right here. But I just knew, like I said, I I wanted to build something for my family. Like we, I really come from shit. I don't come from, I don't come from like. I don't come from where, where niggas come from. Like, nah, I, I'm with you. Like, I ain't even about <laughs> and to I heard New Orleans is crazy. And I'm from the middle of that shit. Like, that's crazy. every nigga you hear about New Orleans that's really getting down, nigga, than been in my house. Like, like for real. Like, yo, being from down there, do you? I always this is gonna be a cliche ass question, but like being from down there, do you look at like Lil Wayne? How like the world look at him? Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and we ain't in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. I ain't gonna lie. Wayne hard, bro. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to ask that question over. Do like, you look like, at Wayne how the world look at him, though? Like or it's like you used to him? Like the the world look at Wayne is like the best rapper ever. Yeah, he is the best rapper ever. Yeah, we like, look at him like the best rapper ever. For real? For sure. Everybody out there. Because usually like when a nigga close to you, it's like, oh, that's just. Yeah. You feel me? Like niggas like, that's just. Yeah. But you know what's funny, they, I don't, I, they just they just know we ain't a goat. Like we grew up on this shit. Like yeah. So that's that. Yeah, nah, nigga, what we used to we used to look at that nigga like, nigga, he a he a god. Yeah, I shit. knew he was a goat, but it ain't like I never wanted. To, I I ain't never want B Wayne or nothing like that. But I just I, his music was just always crazy. Like. Me. Shit, nigga. Back in the day, everybody had to yeah, dress. Everybody wanted to be, be Wayne. Wayne. That's what I'm everybody saying. But it wasn't Wayne. like that. It wasn't like that for like for like me and shit. Like, Why not? Just because, like, I don't know. I just that's just not what I was. I wanted to be like they had rappers that Wayne signed. You know, rapper named Flo. I wanted to be like Flo. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. 
Cause Flo was still standing in the wall and Flo like niggas know about Flo, like you know what I'm saying? That makes sense. But he just like Wayne though. He Rapping was crazy. wise, man, what that nigga hard? That nigga just like Wayne. He like Baby Wayne. He still rapping? He in jail for murder now. Oh shit! God damn. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. I be thinking about Flo a lot, man. I, he gonna hear about this interview and be like, man, that little young nigga know about me because he really wanted them. Like, and he booked for murder. No, he went to jail for murder. How long was it? Will he ever get out or not? That's, that's... I don't know about his situation. I just know because I was a fan of him. Like you know, what I'm saying you gonna do your research on it. Damn, that's crazy. Man, I hate to hear it like that. What about how far is Baton Rouge from y'all? Like an hour. So what about did y'all did you fuck with Boosie coming up? Was Boosie was on He was um, booked probably. Boosie was, was on shoulders, chest, pants, shoes. Was he on that? <laughs> he was yeah, on that. I huh? mean, I wouldn't say I, I yeah, wipe me down. Man, yeah, that I mean that's mainstream. Was, like, yeah, he was man, on that. Nigga, that was my song for MySpace. When you but go on MySpace, wipe me down. Song? That's the song you name. Nigga, we was kids, bro. I wasn't grown yet. Nigga, yeah, I not was, for you. I, I was you. like nine, ten. I'm old as shit. Popping. This shit made me feel old. As shit. Like I ain't, I ain't show it. Wipe me down. <laughs> like, we was on wipe me down. Like I ain't, man. I ain't know about all that killer shit he was talking. For like. real? Nah, cause. We we wasn't trying to be no killers in nothing, nigga. We ten years old, like. I mean, nah, I feel you. Nah, but like you said, nah, 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 nah. Cause like you said, bro, where we from? Niggas was on, like at eleven. Niggas is in the streets, like niggas is crazy. I know, nah, but I don't see. I, nah. It's not, see how you play me in the beginning, right? Nah, I said, bro, nah, I don't, I don't think, nah, bro, nine, ten, bro, there ain't nobody trying to be no see? killers. You'd get, nah, nah, nah. get your ass whooped. See, that's why he, I ain't gonna lie. They got this one little nigga in the city, brother. He changed his life, but his ass, that's the only nigga I know been bad since <laughs> see, he was little. See how he played me? The first thing I opened up with, I said, You one of the only niggas I ever, I never said that. I said, you remind me of me because I wasn't like, you feel me? He like, nah, I was. And then when I nigga, go, nigga, not nine and ten, bro. No, that's when it, you crazy. That's when it starts. Why you hit this nigga? Are you about nine years old? No, at nine years old, that's when it, nigga was fighting and shit. No, ni- at eleven years old, oh, niggas had guns. Like twelve, thirteen. I mean, eleven, twelve. And I got my first tattoo at twelve. Literally, no cap. I ain't lying. You on some other yeah, shit? Yeah, you. He. I don't know. Nah, what niggas had. But like I said, though, we I can't say nothing about because Baltimore. On the same shit, but it y'all probably on some crazy years. shit. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's probably similar. I wouldn't say because because y'all. I, got I just y'all. don't remember no nigga at twelve and years old. I ain't gonna old. lie. That's why I'm telling you this because I put this on everything I love. It was a couple of niggas in my project that was really like on on front line, like, and I know him because I was fighting them every day. And me and yeah. them was the only ones going at it, and, and he, he a gangster now. Nah, and yeah, I he, was never he, a gangster. It just I I was with nah, him, but I, I was never. I, I'm telling you, like. He a gangster now, and I know he wasn't really trying to be a gangster. Nah, facts, yeah. He was the only nigga that I could look at right now and be like, I ain't lying, he the, he the only one had some gangster ways, like, but mm. he wasn't trying to be a gangster because he 9, 10. Like. Nah, facts. Nobody was. It's just niggas. Is, we, we, we grew niggas up get some, a gun at like 14. Niggas grew up in some crazy in, uh, environments. Niggas get a gun at like 14 for sure. Yeah, I mean, 12, 14. Yeah, 12, 14, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't too far. 14, bro. I mean, I feel you. I, I was never into that shit. Just let you know, 13. I wasn't. I ain't gonna lie. 13, you start seeing it. <laughs> 13, you start seeing it. Like, no, nah, I'm just running into you how I saw it. Fact, no, no, fact. 13, you start seeing it. Like, when you when you see when you see a nigga hop out the car with the and you like, well, he, he really got a gun on him. Like, then you're like, all right. And then you like how the nigga move and shit. So you like, I won't be like him. And that's where it come. So let me ask you something. You've been 24. Mm. I always ask this. I feel like I always feel like it changed because at one point when I was young, the niggas that was outside was telling me to go to school. How was it for you when you was coming up? Was they? But you like, just said your man's like, nah, I don't go to the, the military. Stay here. I'm, but but I was older. We talking about school shit. Like I ain't I ain't really had no. I ain't, I ain't really looked at no nigga as no OG. Like, my dad and my OG. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because mm. my dad and one of them in the city. Right. So he gonna always tell me to go to school and shit. Like, you know, you gonna listen to your daddy and it's like. So nobody whatever. else outside of that was telling nobody you? Nobody else outside of that. Yo, that's cr- I wonder when that changed. Because, like, it wasn't like that all the time. Man, because niggas just, niggas just ain't thorough. Like I, like I told you, like, one of, my, one of my niggas, I used to be fighting every day in the project. Like, he hanging with the big niggas. 
they not telling him go to school. Like, I feel like that's fraud. Like, you know what's funny? When I when I started making music, I got my little dog, Frank Five, he got killed. But how old Frank was, 16? Yeah, 16. He, yeah, he was 16, he got killed. He he was in the studio recording, I gave him a song. And I heard he dropped out of school. I told him, I'm like, you, you don't go back to school. I ain't fucking with you no more. That's how it should have been been. Facts, yeah. It just wasn't like that. That's wild, bro, because coming up, like, they was definitely on out. Like, niggas was like, nah, stay in school for real. Nah, niggas in New Orleans is stupid, bro. It's just yeah. a bunch of hating ass niggas, hating old niggas. Yo, you know what's funny? Because every, I feel like every city got, like, that hood aspect to it, but it got, like, some good to it. Like, for New Orleans, you got Mardi Gras, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. i never forget. I was in college my first time going to New Orleans. We was going yeah. for Mardi Gras. yeah. And everybody, this is the first time I ever traveled and people was like, be safe. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> bro, I've never, like, I'm going to Muddy Ground. Like, we're going to have fun. Niggas, everybody, like, literally everybody, everybody like, be safe. be safe. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, but trenches out there. You like, was coming from Baltimore? Yeah, but I was in college, though, so I wasn't like, I, I told you, I, I came up in the hood, but I was never like a street nigga. I wasn't, yeah. I used to fight a lot, but I never was like. You know what's funny? I, 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 never I, was I fuck nigga. with niggas like you. Like this is the type of niggas I like being around. Yeah, I like know a nigga that's just true to themselves. Like, yeah, never was no street nigga. Nah, I fuck with niggas like you. I ain't gonna lie, cause it. niggas just be yapping and just be lying. Yeah, nah, I, mm -mm, I ain't want none of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I ain't want none of that shit. Like niggas, get, niggas seen niggas get. Bro, I should give me chills, bro. Like, and that's why I applaud you, cause like, bro, you, you definitely doing your thing. And even when I'm looking into your stories, like, it sound like you always had your head on straight, even though you uh -huh. was, you was in the, in the trenches. You, you know what's funny? I be trying to, I be trying to, like, if I see a nigga rapping, nigga, you is not stupid, like, like, you not stupid, like, I be telling, like, I be telling nigga, like, man, see, brother, I know you smart, like, stop, stop, stop acting stupid, like, like, nigga, you could be something, I'm telling you, you could be something, I know you smart, I rap, you, if you could put these words together, you ain't stupid, like, facts. I mean, like you even said earlier, if you could hustle, you ain't stupid, nigga. If you can hustle, you ain't stupid. Niggas, niggas ain't hustlers. Niggas just want to be stupid, though. Niggas ain't hustlers, though. Niggas want to be stupid, though, Niggas want to be stupid. It's crazy. You know, it's crazy because, like, just being, not to keep saying my age, it's crazy because, like, at one point in time, I used to say, like, these these niggas is different. These internet niggas, they ain't about nothing, da 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 It's crazy because, like, it's just, we on the other side of it. Like, the niggas that be on the internet that be talking that shit, they really be bought that. It's just they different from what we used to seeing. Uh -huh. Like back in the day, like, yeah, fuck, pop, that ain't, ain't no talking. Like, uh -huh. if a nigga do something to me, I'm going to wait six months, like all that shit like that. Nowadays, it's different, but niggas really be waiting to catch a case to get clout. Like, niggas, uh -huh. niggas want to catch, catch a case. Uh -huh. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Nah, I think so. So you, you fresh in, 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 in the, um, the industry. How how you liking it so far? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I like it a lot. Just be, it's just because I'm just, I be staying to myself, you know what I'm saying? When you stay to yourself, that's the best way. Nah, 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 let me tell you. When you, <laughs> when you lit and you stand to yourself, because I'm one of them. Ain't like I'm just no pee on staying to myself because you're not gonna go nowhere. Right. I'm just one of the niggas niggas gonna fuck with. Right. So you ain't got no problems, and you one of them, like, you might well just, you chilling. That's how I feel. I feel but good. you still gotta, wait, you still gotta do your label stuff. You gotta do the interviews. You got the features. Oh, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's still some type of like involvement that you gotta do with people. Are you starting to see the weirdness already, or not yet? You ain't really. Um, Cause you know a lot of people always say the industry is weird. That's what you hear all the time. Everybody, everybody in the industry says it's weird. The world is weird. The world is the world is weird. That's though. a fact. You just can't expect nobody to act how you act. Mm. I don't think nobody gonna ever act how I act just because. I just don't think niggas giving it up like me, honestly. So I don't really look for nothing in niggas. Mm. Like I said, you show me real, I believe you. But other than that, I'm not even about to even look for it in you. Mm. So you ain't really going, you ain't really walking to no bullshit for real. Nah, I ain't. And if I miss some bullshit, I ain't stupid. I'm knowing I some bullshit, so I might just play it like it's bullshit. Honestly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that, that's some smart shit. That's some real shit. I fuck with that. Yo, what, um, you drop. Vosha Island. Yeah. That's the thing that really went crazy, right? That's the first one. Yeah. Is that the song? What was the song when you was about to quit? That happened? Because mm. you say you gave yourself six months. Was that Vosha Island? That wasn't nah, Vosha nah, Island. Nah, probably. Because um, it was tapes. 
I dropped three tapes in six months. Okay, but it was a moment when you was about to quit this shit. Yeah, probably like Crazy Man tape. And that's nah, when it was sh- it was it was it was Vulture tape. Okay. Crazy Man was about to be called I Quit. Okay. Yeah, that was gonna be your last one. That was gonna be my last then one. Then that dropped and then And then that shit was nuts. That's when your name started going crazy in the city. Yeah. Not really. My name been going crazy in the city since the first time I dropped. Cause like I said, like I was known in that bitch. Like I'm one of them. I was moving through it. So when they hear Rob dropping, mm-hmm. and they be like, "What Rob? I'm the Rob they want here." Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was already going crazy. It's just like I knew I wanted to be great. I ain't want to be no mediocre nigga. Mm. I know I ain't want to be no city rapper. Mm. So that's it. So, but even during that time when you bubbling in the city, that's a big deal. Man, that's a big deal. Like, too. like a lot, a I lot was of the people. Only one too. Yeah, but I say a lot of people want to be buzzing in their city. Yeah. That's a big deal. And them moments when you buzzing in the city, like, do you know what's going on? Like, are do you you know you about to get signed soon, or is it still frustrating nah, at the moment? If I ain't gonna lie, brother, like, like when I told you I was fucking with the nigga Le Frank, like it's my real dog, rest in peace, Le Frank. And he got killed. I was I was like, man, I hope a label come get me, mm. cause I don't want to get killed out here. Too many niggas know me, and we still broke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like we was getting evicted and shit. Moving back to the project for real. And mm. I just was like, man, I hope a label come get me. I don't really, I don't want to die in New Orleans. Like, was anybody um reaching out like any like famous artists? Birdman was the first person ever trying to sign me. Why you didn't do that? He flew me out and everything. He just, um, I think we just lost contact for like a couple of months and then nigga signed me right after that. How? You know what's funny? The quit and shit, when I was about to quit, he the one stop me from quitting. It wasn't a song. He called you. I got oh. I got I got my art cover for the I quit tape. Mm-hmm. And he called me that day. Did you like how did she, you got walk me? He's like, man, you don't want dog. No, no, walk no no no. Don't just don't don't have fast it. Walk me through the story. Set the story right. up. How that happened. I ain't gonna lie, the story is so pressure. I um I had went to the studio, I think I made like four songs that day. Mm-hmm. And I had went to the um I went, I went to Rallis. I think I had like twenty more dollars on my cash app. I went to Rallis. I got my 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 um. I think I got a big and Zilla. I got a big and Zilla with my wings. I'm like, all right. So I'm laying in my bed. I call the nigga. I'm like, man, how, how long before the artwork ready? I said, how long before the artwork ready? So um. He told me he sent the artwork over or whatever like that. And I see a number. I'm like, man, what the fuck this is? It's like it's an out of town number. Like, keep in mind, I'm still in, I'm still in my city. I, I'm not used to seeing out of town numbers yet. Right. So I'm like, this ain't no foul for no sign. And I'm like, hello. And it was Birdman. He like, what's up, Neff? This, 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 I'm um, stunned. Da, da, da. He like, man, I won't fuck with you. I won't fly y'all to LA. And I'm like, say less. Like, let's go. He flew me and my mom out and shit like that. Sheesh. Yeah. So how the hell y'all lose contact, nigga? There's no way know, I'm losing bro. contact with Bird, man. I don't know, cause I I ain't one of them niggas. I'm just I'm just I'm just a laid back nigga. If it happened, it happened for me. Cause I'm a genuine nigga. I'm telling you, that's how it is, brother. That's how I am. That's I'm telling you. Crazy. I'm sure. call. I'm sitting there following up. Yo, is is Rob just following up with you? No, I hit him a couple. Come on now, you that's know what I I'm hit saying. him a couple times. Don't do that. So what he just stop answering? Nah, I hit him like <laughs> I hit him like twice. I'm like yo. And he'll say, yo, and then I text him, he don't text back. But I know he trying to hit me, but he just is busy, so I hit him again, like, what you on? Like, I probably double text him, that's it. Okay. And then it was like, fuck it. And then it was just like, it is what it is. Would then, you would've um, did that? Then 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 I met it I met this A and R from from Interscope. No, from Capital. And my DMs, he was saying, Yeah, I'm an A and R, I signed all this. So I'm like, I tell my dad, I'm like, man, check this nigga out. Like, see if this nigga legit or not. Cause I think he fake. Your dad was still booked at the time, or this he was nah, already he out. Nah, he got out. Okay. I'm like, man, check. I think this nigga fake, man. So he wound up setting. He told the dude, man, we we need to meet New York. What's up? We wound up flying to New York. Me at the time, I'm not knowing, and Nas could be like not rich, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah. he could be a little kid, a regular like, nigga. Yeah, yeah. He could be a kid who 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 fucked up for real. So I'm like, man, this nigga fake, man. <laughs> <laughs> then he put me, he like, um, he had a um the 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 CEO of the label wants to wants to um meet you on Zoom. 
I search up on Google, CEO of um, Capitol Records. I'm like, all right, it's Jeff Vaughn. I screenshot a picture of him. I'm like, we getting on the um, Zoom call today, huh? Like, I'm so, man, when I tell you this shit, you're gonna be like, man, this nigga funny as shit. I screenshot the shit, boom, I, I, I got the, um, I got the, um, we get on the Zoom call. You know, Zoom, you can change your background. Yeah. This is my first time on Zoom, though, so I'm like, man, this nigga changed his background. He got fish in his background, man. This nigga lying, man. This nigga cat, man. But I'm looking, I'm like, then this nigga look just like this nigga and shit, man. So I just let my dad handle everything. They really sent the offense and shit. Sheesh. So I'm like, oh, shit. This shit real. And then you get that, and it's just. Yeah. And that's when you dropped Bocha Island? or So you was, wait. I was rapping. I was rapping two years before, two and a half years before Bocha Island. No, I've been rapping two and a half years now. So do you feel like it's 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 fast for you, though? A lot of people say, like. Not really. It's really not fast for me, because when I got signed, like, you you know, you live this shit day by day. Like, when I got signed, I damn near went broke, so I'm back in, I'm, I'm back in the hood again, like, mm. and I'm living day by day, so I'm seeing this shit, like, like, now it's going back slow, and it's like, damn, this shit slow, like. After you it? already signed? After I signed. So I'm like, fuck it, it is with it. This shit not gonna never happen, for real. Like, for real, for real. And then you drop both y'all. And then I drop both y'all. You know what's funny? I remember, I remember letting my mama hit that. She like, why you keep saying yeet ye on here? You should take that out and put something yeet, right there. Yeet. I remember that. I'm like, no, my, they don't know. Uh, Where the fuck did that come from? Man, I don't even know. It was an ad lib I was using. I was just saying yeet, yeet. And then I just put it on my main vocals. I'm like, man, let's go. I just turned up saying it. So I know on, on Midnight's Free Game you said that the girl told you that was, a, that was the one. Yeah. But it was never in your mind that like, Bro, I'm tweaking out, bro. This, I'm wilding. Like, let me not put this. You was never thinking that. Yes, bro. <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, but at the time, I was just trying anything. Was you lit at the time? I like was lit. Like what? You was smoking? Like I was drinking. Okay. I had drunk. I think I drunk Casamigo like for the first time. Yo, it's crazy because like on the back end of it, the song is fire, right? Yeah. But I could uh, only imagine the first time hearing. I'm like, bro, I'm bugging. Like, what am I like? I ain't gonna lie. That bitch was hard as a motherfucker when we was in there making it. No, nah, I can't believe it. Like everybody knew it before we left out the studio. We had like, fit like, like fifteen people in the studio when we made it. And then wait, cause then they got girls dancing on the studio equipment, like they shaking their ass. I'm like, oh, this him. And then that's cause that came out first, and then baby holla at you, right? Cause yeah. you part drop yeah. part two. Yeah. Viral. Crazy, Bye. come on, bro, <laughs> little baby, he hit you like, what you thinking, bro? I ain't lying. I ain't talked to baby till we till we um was shooting the video. I ain't talked to baby till to to the morning we so shot the video. So when you hear, he he wanna, set it up for me. So when you hear little baby want to get on it, like you're not tripping out. I'm tripping. I'm tripping out, bro. I saw I saw a video of him freestyling it, freestyling to it in his studio. So I'm Sheesh. like. That boy got Vulture Island beat on in there. And then they sent the, the thing the next day. I'm like, oh, this nigga came through. You thinking I made it at this point, nigga. Uh-huh. I made it. I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't even, I remember the first time he had DM me. His, he, he, it was, his name was, he was Wham. But I ain't yeah, know he yeah, called yeah. himself Wham Wham, 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 Wham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, Wham in my DM. Yeah, because you don't Wham? see the, uh, you don't you see, the see the name. Yeah, you I'm see like, the name. Fuck is Wham. So I type him, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> But asked me for my number, I sent it to him and shit like that. Sheesh. Damn. Man, that that you know. deserve a moment of silence. That's crazy. That's fire. You working so now you working on um For God Two. Yeah, for right? God Two. You got a lot of names on this. Yeah. You got not little baby, you got the baby on here. Yeah. Um I forgot the names. You got a lot of names on here. Yeah. Like at least four. Yeah, I got Dirt. Dirt. Trippy Red. Yeah. No cap. What made you get Trippy Red? Um, my dog Zona set it up. Zona, me and Zona was in the studio. I was letting him hear my song. He like, you fuck with Trippy Red? I'm like, yeah, I fuck with him. So he FaceTime. And he like, he just got me in the camp. I'm like, <laughs> like, nigga, what you doing? Like, nigga, I don't know, man. I don't know, buddy. Fact. He like, man, he about to come record. Y'all about to make a song. So Trippy like, all right. So I asked Zona, I'm like, he know who he I'm is. He did ask? I'm like, he know who I'm is, like. 
Like, man, nigga, he know who you is. And then Trippy had texted him, like, man, you gonna bring him for real? Like, I fuck with that nigga music. He fucked me up. I'm like, oh, yeah, we over there. Wait, but even honestly, though, bro, come on, be real. Don't be on no street nigga shit. Be real. Even if you don't fuck with Trippy Red, you gonna turn down a feature? Nah. <laughs> right? Nah, I really, I really, I really, my sister was fucking with Trippy hard, though. And she was just around me so much, I really knew that shit. Like, That's. You know what's funny? Travis Scott, the one made me take music serious. What you mean? Like, his documentary shit? Man, he you gotta like, elaborate on this. Man, just saying, like, because I remember he had a show, it said 20, 2016, and then it said 2020. And it, it had four people in the, in the whatchamacallit, four people in the um, stands. Then this motherfucker had rolling loud. So I'm like, damn. Like, that shit could happen, like. So all this shit happened in three years for you, bro? Yeah. That's crazy. I can only imagine what I'm gonna be at in the next three years, man. I ain't so gonna let, lie. Let me ask you this then. Damn, this shit really three years. So, so I'm let, 24 now. Let me ask you this then. Having so much fast success, right? You said you you said it. You said I can only imagine what it's gonna be in the next three, four years. What if you're not the biggest nigga in the next four years? Are you willing to still tripping. work hard to to get it? I don't lie, not really, cause I ain't always wanted to be a rapper. Mm. It's not, it's not something that I was just like, oh, I want to be a rapper. Like, nah, I'm just gonna move on to the next hustle. Like, so you're not gonna stay rapping if it don't? Man, listen, my plans is when I get out my deal, I might stop rapping, or if I'm still crazy, I'm gonna sign another deal. But I'm, a, I'm a structure how it needs to be structured, how I want it to be structured. Mm. And then it's just gonna be it's gonna be butter from there. It's gonna be free play, you know what I'm saying? You know you can't tell niggas that shit. You possibly gonna stop rapping and go to the next hustle. You can't just say that shit. I know. You got fans now. I know, gang. Hey, <laughs> but it's gonna be it's just gonna be for fun. You tripping? You bullshit. Like, and, you just and, bullshit. And, but I swear, but I don't man, listen. I'm you capping? It's cool, bro. You capping? Don't do me that. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared of you, bro. Bro, <laughs> you're not stop rapping, bro. Like you're too good at it. That, but that's that's why I be so scary. Like talking to niggas that like the it comes so the success comes so fast because it's like, bro, not wishing this. I wish you more success because shit. Nah, you become next Jay Z. Like you not even think you cherish it. I'm about to yeah. tell you what you what 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 I ain't see that that's gonna make you think different. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's like I want children. I want a family. Like I want I want to. Everything in his life. Mm. So when my children come, I could show them. Oh, I was in. Oh, I mean, oh yeah, I, I did go to college. Oh yeah, I was. I was a traveler. Oh yeah, I, I did start rapping. Oh, I did. Do, like I want to show them. Like man, it's, you could do anything in this shit. Like mm. you know what I'm saying. Like like I said, I ain't no dumb nigga. Like I want to do shit. Niggas ain't show me. You don't got no. You got a kid on the way. You want no kids? No, nah, I ain't got a kid. Like funny, she just told me don't have no kids. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you young, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, you know I'm eventually you want some kids. Bro. I want some kids, though. I wish Why I had a kid right now. Oh, yeah, not right now. I wish I, I had a kid right now. Yeah, yeah, you got to. You got to be careful what you wish for, though. Yeah. Learn that. Like yeah, like 30 for real. That's a good 30? Yeah. That's huh? these young kids nowadays. He's like, like 30, two more 38. Years. Like, two more years. 30 is young as hell. Right, you how old you want to be? How, how, how old you want to be when you have your first child? Like right now, for real, huh? Wait, you said wait, wait, wait. You thought Jesus was how? Jesus was how? How? I didn't really think Jesus was sixty, bro. I'm just saying, like, you're around that age, though. You're around that I age. I mean, you just said Boosie wipe me down. I'm thinking Boosie. You see a fifty in him pussy. You probably know what I'm talking about. Come on, man. What I'm talking about? When him when you said Latoya, come here. <laughs> <laughs> The two to come here. <laughs> nah, the DVD, that shit was hard. Nah, for sure. Yo, nah, this shit is hard, bro. I, yo, but now nah, I, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, like, when people get to success fast, I be like, if it don't happen as fast as it started, would you still love it? That's what I always be wondering. You like, man, I'm gonna mm. get another hustle. Nah, for sure. That's how it was when I quit. I'm like, I I rapped for six months. I was a rapper. I'm hiding my city. Like, I'm one of them. They gonna remember this. Next hustle, like. So when do it ever become bigger than you? Because right now, you know bigger. it or not, it's bigger than you right now. It become bigger than me when I have kids. Mm. Like, that's that. my life is based strictly off real life. 
like straight up life is everything to me like and when my kids have life I want to give them life I want mm. I want to be able to be a, a a hero to them like you know what I'm saying mm. you can't be no hero out every day trying to go do interviews and shit that's going to be that's lame it's not a father you're a baby daddy I don't want to be no baby daddy this is that's that's real that's that's so. it's crazy because so many people um they chasing this lifestyle <clears throat> myself included I, i'm not above <laughs> nobody <laughs> i'm just being real so many yeah, people myself included nah, i'm being real shit man real nigga nah, i'm nah, i'm some shit i'm good i'm a good person but i can yeah. be real with myself nah, i feel like so many times we chasing this lifestyle not even the lifestyle but we're chasing work and we're chasing millions we chasing whatever we chasing and we be in denial saying that it's for everything else other than ourselves. And that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Like you hear people say, man, I'm doing this for my family. No, you're not. Because if you, you can stop right now, your family be good. Mm -hmm. You hear that story so many times. Man, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for you and my wife. I'm doing No, you're not. Mm -hmm. Doing it for yourself. Because you don't, technically, like you don't have to be a billionaire to be successful. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could make a couple mil and be good. And that's what I'm telling you, like, I'm really doing this for like my future kids. Mm. Like, but that's I why I commend you. I gotta get off. I gotta get out this deal, like because if you don't get out the deal, you still gonna be locked in something that you have to do. Like mm. it's a job at that point. It's a job. I would rather get out the deal and then have a free space to decide if I want to do it or not. Mm. Maybe I have kids by the time I'm on my deal. Damn, I'm curious. Who are the artists that you are connecting to most at this point? That you talk to maybe Herb. more than her. Yeah, her. How was those conversations? Man, he's just a solid nigga. Like, he's just a solid nigga. That's it. Like, he a real person. Mm. Nigga ain't trying to chase no nothing. Like, he just, that's, it is what it is. Mm. Do you sometimes feel like you an outlier coming from New Orleans? What that is? Like, outlier. I don't want to say black sheep, but like you know, different. We are always here. Oh, most definitely. People always say I want to. I'm. I'm a different. I'm different. I'm different. I'm different. When well, niggas be the same. Different. I don't even like. I don't. I don't really even like bringing like. Like my niggas, niggas around because niggas, niggas not gonna like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because we so different and nobody ain't gonna ever understand it. Mm. So yeah, I do be feeling like that sometimes. What's some? What's one of the things that you had to learn? to like get out of your own way to be successful, right? Some things that you probably, you know you could have always do by yourself before you had the success, but something you had to like scale back on, like, you know, I can't do this, I'm in a different I'm in a different space now. For like what? I don't know, it could be like. Um, what yours is for you and then I'll give you mine? Um, it's different things at different, different moments in life so i remember when i was in college right you went yeah. to school yeah when i was in college i was the mister of my university for real yeah uh -huh. but i also was in a fraternity yeah so i remember when i became mr Coppin, i used to always still do my fraternity shit, mm. and i never understood but it was like you can be a q when it's time to be a q but when it's time to be mr Coppin, you can't really do that here mm. and i never understood that and like even now as much as like I want to be real, a real nigga, and like keep it real, sometimes being a real nigga can be your downfall. Yeah. And I was wondering, like, are you learning some of these things now coming into probably it? Cause that. I, probably being a real nigga could be your downfall. Mm. Because it's like, man, you do so much for a nigga. It's like, and for you to call me a real nigga, like, I don't give a fuck about that no more. Facts. Honestly. Mm. So that's, I had to learn how to stop doing that type shit because, man, they gonna give a fuck for real. Mm. They gonna say, you you're a bitch if you do, you're a bitch if you don't. That's a fact. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. When they gonna say, oh yeah, man, that nigga, that bitch, that nigga, man, every time I call, he, he gonna make sure I'm, he gonna, man, uh, what are you gonna say, man, that nigga gonna never make sure, you a bitch if you do, you a bitch if you don't. <laughs> that's a fact. I asked a lot of niggas this from my city. I'm gonna ask you this. What's one thing that, a misconception coming from the hood that you thought was good, but outside of being a real nigga, right? That you thought was good, that's really the total opposite. Um, 
find like having money. What you mean? Like I thought having money was a good thing. You know what they was a good thing? Not really, cause it come with more problems. That's I wish I was. I wish I was. I ain't gonna say I wish because you got to be careful what you wish, but but it was better for me when when I could just live. You know what I'm saying? When I when I could chill in my room and watch Netflix all day and don't gotta worry about nobody calling me because motherfuckers wasn't calling me. Mm. But all of a sudden, niggas calling, huh? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Like, cause we always, like you said, be careful what you wish for. You always want what's at the top until you see what come with it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, was I ever, was I really prepared for this shit? Was I really prepared for this? I'd say all the time for me it was like um, not being a bitch. What you mean? I remember at one point in time, like when I was a kid, like I was so big on not being a bitch. Like you would never, nigga can't say nothing crazy to me. Like I'm not no bitch, right? Mm-hmm. And then I learned that like that was just the hood way of saying be a man because honestly not being a bitch in hood terms is really being a man in real life and what that mean is not being a bitch is really taking care of your kids Mm -hmm. not being a bitch is really walking away a lot of times you associate not being a bitch with fucking somebody up or not letting nobody disrespect you but it's all it it's honestly harder to walk away Mm -hmm. that shit bring tears to your eyes because it's so easy to knock a nigga out like i will fuck you up for real in real life Mm -hmm. it hurt to walk away Mm -hmm. that's some I ain't lying. I, I I I learned that, but I ain't gonna lie to you, brother. It's been it's been hard to stay on that track, mm. cause I'm a good nigga. Like you feel like niggas deserve it if they take you there. Man, <laughs> I was just talking to bro about. <laughs> Am this. I real? I'm being real, brother. We good niggas, and like like don't play with this, cause you gonna deserve it, cause we don't really be, we be chilling. But even at that point, bro, as much as it's deserving. It's so much rewarding to walk away because I ain't trying to be like no motherfucker. You <sighs> <laughs> not trying to. I ain't man, trying. Listen, I understand. I'm I not trying to God, be no. But, you know what I'm saying? Man, but niggas ain't about to be playing with nothing. But what does that mean? Because guess what, right? What? Now I sound like an old nigga. This but, is something you stand for. It, it, but what does that mean, though? Right? Because think about it. It's all right. I'm about to tell you exactly what it means. Go ahead. When a nigga play with you, you feel it in your soul, not in your mind. You feel it, yeah, for if, sure. If I feel it in my soul, it ain't right. But that's some egotistical it's bullshit. Not e- it's not ego. It is. Nigga, it's your spirit. That's some ego shit. I'm trying to tell no, you. <laughs> I'm telling you this right <laughs> now, I'm man to man. Tell you, like, no, it ain't, bro. It's some ego bullshit. Man, no, it because guess bro. what? You, I'm, if I'm, I feel I'm, it in my spirit, it's I, right. Bet, bro. cool. I'm going to put it on your terms. You, you're a family, man. You want kids, right? Yeah. Put it like this, you have kids. Yeah. It's probably hard to understand right now because you don't have no kids. You got kids, right? Nigga disrespects you, you feeling your soul. It's some real shit. I gotta fuck this nigga up. Y'all get in a scuffle now, he kill you. Now your kids don't have no father because you had to what? Fuck this nigga up because he played with you? That shit don't mean nothing. We It's some bullshit that's in, there, in, our, in, in our heart, our ego. It's our ego. Because a nigga play with me, I know what I'm about. I gotta All prove right. it to none of you niggas. Now let me tell you something. It's like when I say it's about standing for something. If somebody was to play with my daddy, mm-hmm. and he and and, and, and he walk away, mm-hmm. the niggas would slap my daddy. He walk away. Some in me forever gonna feel the way about that, and I'm gonna always think about it. And I, you damn near gonna lose respect for him. But if a nigga play with your daddy in your face, and you see your daddy go to war body, and nigga kill him, you you and your souls, you gonna say. That's my daddy was a real something. nigga. Nah, that's standing for something. Nigga, it's, it's, man, you gotta stand for something in this life, brother. In all respect, I get it. Put, put, somebody putting their hands on you is a little different. I get it. Because I, I ain't even about to sit up here and preach no bullshit. I get, I get <laughs> I, I ain't even about to do that. What I'm saying is some old shit. My mom's told me. My mom's 70 something years old. She always told me, Kenny Rogers, you gotta know when to hold, know when to fold, know when to walk away. It's a par- poker game, but it's, it, it's, it can be related to real life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just got to know when to fight your battles because even if, hypothetically, worst case scenario, somebody smack your, your pops, right? There's 100 niggas or 50 niggas, right? And he walk away. You might not have respect for him, but at the end of the day, he's here for you not to have respect for him. Now, that nigga did. Yeah, you're going to have respect for him all, all you want, but he's not even here for you. Mm-hmm. What, is it, what, 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 what does that really mean? We, that's why I say I ask somebody, like, respect, loyalty, 
and love what comes first. And I always say, like, respect is, is so subjective because somebody were having respect for me, what does that really mean? Like, mm -hmm. if your father's not here and you got respect for him, he, like, I don't know. I just rather be here for my family. Yeah. And that's just some things I learned over there because I was a hothead, like, yeah. crazy, like, fucking dumb. It was stupid. It wasn't even smart, but that was just, man, I ain't making it about me. It's your interview. <laughs> and it's about you. I'm just saying, like, that's the one thing I had to learn, man. But you, you definitely going to stand on something. Like, you ain't falling for nothing. No, that's how I feel. I ain't going to lie. That's just how I feel. But I ain't going to lie. You right, too, though, maybe. But not right now, at least. I could take that. I, ain't I think that's fear. fair. That's that's a me. I, I like that. That's fair. Because we always got to learn it sometime, right? Like, that's fair. I like that. Most definitely. I like that. I like that. I think I already asked you this off camera. Like, are you enjoying the celebrityism? We about to get out of here. Like, are you, like, are you, 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 you Rob for nine now? Like, you like niggas know who you is. Are you enjoying it? Um, I think so. Yeah, because I think so. Cause I don't know. I know how to. I know how to treat people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I'm happy as a nigga like me. Mm. Hard. Because. I I I didn't I didn't I didn't met I didn't not not really but it's like I already be a nigga like me who as somebody be like oh I love your music because I'm gonna say thank you facts and I ain't gonna do this and put my shades on because nah it's 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 goofy to me like do you think you ever could get too big to like sometimes niggas be busy sometimes it be a lot it'd be that's not busy I'm saying I love your music and you in my face yeah thank you won't hurt and you and you say. Mm -hmm. Like we saw, uh, I think Chris Brown was it Chris Brown when a little kid tried to get his the autograph, yeah. and he just walked right past the nigga. I don't know. I I, I don't know too much about that. <laughs> don't do me that. He tried to get the Chris Brown feature. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do me that. Nah, 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 I saw Chris part. going crazy. To that nah, he shit, going bro. crazy. Fuck that. That was a great. That was nah, a great answer. That was a great answer. Chris was going crazy to that Vulture Island, man. I'm on Chris team. Nah, yeah, fact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> team Breezy. Nah, like that, but at the same time, people with stuff like that, people don't be understanding. People be real people. We don't know what he was going through. This is true. Like real shit. What if somebody like man? You don't know what he was going through. Nah, this is true. This, is this true. shit real. Nah, this is true. But you got um for for God for God too yeah. four right the number four, four God yeah. Yeah. Um. What else? When is that coming out? It's that, coming that, out. that came out already. It ain't come out already. No, right? no, it ain't come out already. Probably like the first week of April, second week of April, something like that. This shit, you PR right? Yo, this. So I never look at um, uh, notes. I do my own research, but I, I meant to text you. This is really good notes. I th I looked at it because I don't really pay that shit no mind. Cause like PR going, they going, bro. They it. They, if it was at the PR interview, would be trash. She'd be boring as hell. I'm yeah. just saying, cause they want protection. Nah, she swags the motherfucker. Nah, she nah, she did good. Like this one, it was good though. I was like, it's, it's, I'm, <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was good. So uh, you working on that? Um, when is that coming out? Um, probably like the first second week of April. Yeah, okay. she's gonna be crazy. All right, all right, all right. Uh, is there anything that I, I missed that we can mm. touch on? Nah, not at all. It was good? Most definitely. Nah, for the people that don't know, I mean, everybody know. For the people that don't know, let them know how I follow you and I'll tap in. Uh, I appreciate y'all, man, for watching this show. Watching the whole thing, because if you watching the whole thing, that means you hear me talk right now. Uh, y'all go follow me on Instagram, Rifle9Up, uh, man. All platforms at Rifle9. Y'all go turn me up. No, I'm gonna put you on the spot, yo. Can I get my follow back, dog? Fuck that. What's that? You said you're a real man. nigga. You said that. What's that? Nah, man? nah, I put <laughs> on, I you, on camera right now. Fuck you, man. I follow like, niggas I know. Yeah. Yo, what's the um, what's the um, the most lit city you've been to so far? Houston. But you've been, to, nigga. Did y'all drive to Houston for, out of the uh, yeah, out of the uh, Katrina? Houston, the one. He was a little there. Yeah, think about it. He was like, he was like, what? Four. No. It was five. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all drove with the doors open. Uh huh. To Houston. Uh huh. Wait, wait how did y'all get? Is you right here? Yeah, that's me. Uh -huh. Yo went straight to Shorty. I ain't even gonna say what it was. Yo, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> How did y'all get back to New Orleans? Don't do that, bro. Right? Now we that. um. Why did y'all even go back? How we got back to New Orleans? That same car? You no, know I'm saying why did why did y'all go back? A FEMA check, huh? Why did that? Why did y'all? Oh, oh, y'all got a check. Oh yeah, we got a FEMA check. 
Oh, yeah. did did y'all get a crib from that? No, we was still in the project. That's it's all good. It's all good. Um, damn, it's crazy. So y'all was the ones, one of the ones that like the stories we was hearing. Like they were saying, "Get out, get out, get out." Y'all, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, we wasn't going nowhere. I remember the day. I remember the day of. We went trying to get my grandpa, and he was like, "He ain't going nowhere." That was. I think that was my last time seeing my grandpa alive. Damn. So he died in. He ain't died in he ain't died in Katrina, but he got stuck there and then he got he got sick because he had you know what I'm saying? So all that. He got sick. He died like how how long? Three weeks after? Like three weeks after? Damn. I wonder if like so is it What the fuck? He died three weeks after that? That's your mother, right? Y'all be having I be telling my girl this. Y'all be cursing in front of your parents. I'm 31. I'll be scared to curse in front of my mom. <laughs> so you know, I was just thinking about this the other day. I'm like, man, I'll be cursing in front of my mom. That's crazy. Like, Boy, you got some balls. What I said? Nigga, what? What I said? You <laughs> <laughs> said what I said. <laughs> Yo, so it's like a seven. I think we got a seven year difference. Did you come up loving the projects? Yeah, I still love the project. I used to, but I remember one day I the told my mom. Projects was the funnest time of my life. Why I told my mom I wanted a, a house in the projects. That was dumb as shit. I didn't even know no better. Nah, for sure. The I project, the project still the little shit, man. That shit's so fun. Like, you you just going to enjoy your life there. Yeah, nah, facts. It Ain't one. it crazy how, like, around the world, especially L.A., right? Yeah. i never forget it. First time I went to L.A., like, because L.A. is the hood, right? Yeah. But it's like a bunch of houses and shit. Man, so I never understood. Man, listen, I never understood that. <laughs> like, like I how never, is this the hood? Bro? Like, how is this the hood? It's a bunch of houses. Man, brother, I be on niggas' ass about that because, you know, I be traveling a lot. So I, I run into a lot of niggas. like, yeah, that's the hood. Yeah, we, we, you know, I be like, bro, who cut y'all grass? Bro? Nigga, what? Like, brother, y'all got good grass out here. Y'all got turf. I wish I had a house, nigga. Man, listen, bro, we had dirt, gang. Nigga, I know. Like, what, <laughs> nigga, don't play with me, nigga. Like, <laughs> no, no cap, bro. I swear to God, bro. Yo, I swear, bro, I don't know if I just, I, like, with a DM or something, somebody just, like, sent, sent me a picture or something. Bro, I'm like, this is where I used to live at. Uh-huh. This shit is crazy. You know what's funny? I still be driving past my old house. So you still I, in New Orleans? No, no, I stay in Miami now, but when I go to New Orleans, I go sit outside my old house. I ain't never even tell her that. I I be going to sit outside, like, hey, she gonna, the, the, she the not house was there. None of that. She like, boy, what? Yo, the projects definitely it help. It's crazy because like a lot of people not from the projects. A lot of people just like, like they from the hood, but it's just being from the projects is different. Yeah, I being feel from like the I can project. relate to you like a little different. Like being from the projects. Uh-huh. Let me see. Let me see. I swear to God, uh, a lot of people don't have projects. Yeah, but it be the hood. Yeah, nah. This is literally my court. For real? That's my court. Like, literally. Uh, nigga tagged me like, yo, this nigga crib was like right to the right. Like, literally. Shit right here. Yeah, that's in my... That's I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's the best time, bro. Nah, it was. It was funny. Niggas playing care. football. My see my project. We used, to, uh, we used to play football on the concrete. That nah, shit was... tripping. That's how... What? That's we how played we... football on the concrete, too. We ain't play tackle, though. Nah, we played tackle on the concrete. See, I, and I, then what happened was... Now, I'm so old, because like what happened was... I don't know if... You probably remember this. So, they had the concrete. They had the... Uh, the light gray concrete. And then as years went by, they put the black tar over top of it. And it was a little softer. So we used to play. It was my shit right Yeah, the asphalt, yeah. Oh, nah, this hard. <laughs> nah, this is trenches. This fire. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Nah, this hard. Cause when, it's crazy because we got a lot of uh, um, vacant same, houses. At the same, what's some call huh? Yeah, but we don't have a lot of vacant Project, projects. We got a lot of vacant houses, like row uh-huh. row homes. Yeah. We don't have a lot of like vacant spots in the projects. Yeah. Damn, it's crazy. Damn. This the trenches. This all. Let me show you some shit. Let me see. That shit hard. <laughs> it's crazy how niggas can reminisce over just straight bullshit. Your mother probably like, man, we out of that. We happy. Like, right. We can just reminisce over straight dumb stuff. Like this shit is dumb. Like why do we? Why are you like that? Like, why are we like this? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Nah, facts. That's true. As I for uh, as me and Pizza for the two million up remix. Sheesh. 
You know that song? Yeah, nigga. You gotta listen to the remix, man. I'm on that bitch. Oh, you on a remix? Yeah. You know, Peasy just did a uh, a tape with my man. Who that? From Baltimore, YG Tech. YG Tech was right there. Let me see. Let me man, see. Yeah, man. Come I on, ain't... man. Tech my nigga. Uh, yeah. like, what that bitch you want to see what you done did, man? Nah, they like Tech, so look, no cap, so. Tech right chip, man. I wanna put you <clears> this. <throat> to, the, to the left right there. Oh, nah, Tech is right there. Damn, that's crazy. So. Me and Tech, we got a special story. I um, like, I told myself I wasn't gonna have this conversation. So I have a conversation with him, but me and him, we had a lot of like upward movement at the same time. He, his first viral freestyle, yeah. was on my platform. For real? Yeah. Oh, that's that hot. shit got me lit. That shit got him. like it, that shit was crazy. What the hell? Yeah. So like, that nigga shit. hard as fuck. Nah, he he one of them for sure. Real nigga, I fuck with him. Nah, man, I appreciate it, dog. Man, we gotta um. Yo, just keep going up, man. I, t- I be telling everybody, you gonna be like the next Jay Z of this shit, so I can circle the block. We gonna do another interview. What's well, that? Stop crazy. playing with that boy. He told you first. Yeah, already, man. Rob Four Nine, J Hill, J Hill Podcast is rap. We out.